welcome to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to change a string on a lover harp. And today, as an example, I'm going to be using my Dusty Strings Boulevard lover harp. So let's get into it. For this process, you are going to need a new string, your tuning key, an anchor, and either someone to hold up your string while you change it, or a little clip like I display here. Please make sure that if you do use a clip, it is going to be gentle on the string. For instance, this one is covered in a rubber material, so it's not going to pinch the string too badly or it's not going to cut it. So you do want to make sure that your, your clip is not sharp in any way. The first thing that you're going to want to do is remove your old string. You can do this by going up through the back of your harp and pulling out the unwanted string. You're also going to want to remove any of the string that is still wound around the tuning peg. Okay, so once you have removed your old string, you are going to want to make sure that all of your lovers are down on your instrument. This just ensures that um, there's not any unnecessary strain on the harp while you are changing the string. The next step is to grab your new string that you are going to put on your harp. And what I like to do is even when I know that it's the right string, for instance, the one I'm changing right now is second octave C, and I know that that's the right string, but what I do like to do is unwind it just a little bit and grab my old string that I just took off my harp. And I like to compare the width because they should be pretty much the exact same width. Now, the new string that I ha have here is a little bit thicker. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to compare it to the string right above and below the one that I just snapped. So we're going to compare it. And it is a little bit bigger than the one above it and a little bit smaller than the one below it. So this is the right string. And if you're unsure about which string that you broke, if you don't know the octave, what you can do is you can look up online harp octave chart and it will show you um, every single octave on your harp depending on the size and if it's a lever or pedal. Okay, so once you know that this is the right string, you're going to need to tie a knot at one end of it and you're going to need to do this with an anchor. So let's show you how to do that right now. Okay, so now we're going to tie our knot. So what you're going to do is you're going to grab your string and also your anchor. And what you're going to do is you're going to tie a knot just like you were tying your shoe. And you're gonna pull a little bit, but not all the way, okay? And then what you're gonna do with this loop here is you're going to take your anchor and you're going to put the anchor into that hole and pull it tight. And what you wanna do is when you pull it, you want the side to stay kind of short. So you are going to go ahead and pull with the excess string side. Ooh. And it might come out, that's okay, pull it tight. And then what you're going to do is grab the string again, the side with the um, excess string here, and you're going to make yet another little loop here. And then you're going to put that loop over the anchor and pull. And then this is what it should look like. All right, so now that you have your anchor and knot in place at the end of the string, we are going to go ahead and put it on the harp. And to do this, you are going to take the end that is not knotted, and we're going to thread it up through the back of the harp to its proper place. So we're going to look back to the back of the harp and find the right hole. And then that's where you're going to put your string. Once you have 
threaded your string through the back of the harp, go ahead and reach around to the front and grab it and then pull it through all the way until the knot is tight against the very back of the harp. It is here that you may want to use a clip to hold the string. And the reason that I suggest this is, is that sometimes the anchor will not stay in place until the string has been almost completely tightened. And I find that when this is the case, I cannot hold the string tight enough to keep the anchor in place while I'm trying to um, put it through the tuning peg. So I will use this. In this case, I probably don't have to, but I'm going to use it just to show you how I normally use it. And again, this is made with rubber, so it's not going to pinch the um, bottom of the string to the point where it's going to cut it or damage it. Okay, so this is the peg right here that we are going to be feeding our new string through. And if you look at your peg, you're going to notice that there's a hole in it. And what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that that hole is straight up and down. So if it's not, take your tuning uh, key and just turn it until it's straight up and down. Okay, with this done, you're going to take your string. Let me find the end here. So take your string and you're going to thread it through the tuning peg. And pull the string through. Now you don't want to pull it so that it's super, super tight. You do want to leave a little bit of room there so we can we can really wound up the string. To ensure that your string is going to stay wound, what we want to do uh, before we start turning it with the tuning peg is we want to grab the end of the string right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down towards the down on this side. Okay, so on the higher side of the harp. Go down. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this part and pull it up like that. So the string just went down toward more towards the neck of the harp. Okay, so it went onto the right side of this string right here. And we went around and then it went on the left side. And we're just gonna pull that. And then we're going to pull it up and that's going to just really ensure that when you wind up the string all the way, it's not going to unravel. Now hold this with your left hand, hold it tight and grab your tuning key with your left hand, right hand, <laughs> not your left hand too, your right hand. And we're just going to wind it up slowly. A quick note about this is that when you wind up your string, you are actually creating heat inside the neck of the harp because the tuning peg is moving. So you don't want to tune it super quickly. You want to take your time and um, the reason for this is that if there's too much heat in there, it'll start to loosen up the tuning peg and you really do not want to have that happen. So go slow and then take breaks uh, frequently so that the heat does not build up too much. When you tune it, you want to push the tuning peg away from you. So it's hard. Here, I'll show you like this. So if I put it in the tuning peg, I'm going to go this way and push it away from me. So we're going to just, again, go very slowly. Taking a break. And you want to make sure that your string starts to wind close to the, um, the neck of the harp, okay? So you don't want it to start winding this way and then like fall off the peg. You want the, the, the winding to start coming this way. And at this point,
point you can probably take off your clip because you don't want to keep it on there too long so let's go ahead and take that off and then just continue to wind the string until it's up to pitch and again just clarifying what i said earlier is that you want these to be on this side of the pipe so this was my very first one right here and you want every other single wrap like this one to be on that side on this side not on this side to clarify this yet farther i'm going to show you an example so we'll use this black string this loop right here was the very first one and there's two more loops and they were all on this side not on this side you do not want the string to look like this see how it is not in the groove right here and it's not where it should be right there see how it's kind of dusty it's hard to see but there is a little groove in the lever these ones are in there and they're also in the groove of this peg and this one's not so you want to make sure that before you get it too tight you do put it where it's supposed to be and it should look like all the other pegs on your harp so a couple quick tips is um just so that you do know this string is going to take a very long time to relax like the other strings have and what this means is that for a good while it's going to keep like going out of tune um, very quickly and um, by a pretty decent amount <laughs> so you're going to want to keep your tuning key uh, very close to you for your next couple practices and um, one thing that I would suggest doing while you tune it up is to pull it a little bit tune it up a little bit pull it and this just helps it don't pull it too hard it looks like I'm pulling it extremely hard I'm not just pull it a little bit and um, what this says is it kind of helps it relax a little bit and um, you'll see that it will go down in tune. So you hear this, you go up, hear it, pull it. You can already hear how it went down. And then another thing would be to create heat on the string. So you can do this by just going up and down, rubbing the string. I'll do it with this hand so you can see it. So just rubbing it, take a little pause, rub it again, because when you play, it gets warm and it's going to um, relax with the heat. And so if you do that while you tune it, it's going to just help it relax and then you will have to tune it up again. And just keeping this, keep doing this until it is at the right pitch. So once you get your string up to tune, then um, or up to pitch the next thing that you want to do is take a pair of pliers these are specifically my string pliers and you're going to just want to cut your string because you don't want this whole thing um, hanging around there and also what's cool is that for a lot of strings especially ones that are smaller like up here you can get another use out of them so you do want to make sure that you cut it kind of close to the tuning peg. You can maybe a little bit, but cutting off the majority and this one is definitely going to get me another use, which is really nice. And then what you're going to want to do is go into the back of your harp and check that um, the length of your, ooh, of your side. Uh, just to make sure that it's not too long and this one is so I'm going to give it a trim So like I said, this is really long and what's going to happen is it's going to touch these rods here when you pluck it and Then it's going to make a buzzing sound and you do not want that. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it And just be very careful because it is a little space So you don't want to clip anything you don't um, you don't 
watch the clip. And then just make sure that everything is good in there and everything is pretty sturdy. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video and I do hope that it was super helpful. If you guys want to watch more videos like this and learn um, all about music, then please subscribe to my channel and like my videos. Please do leave me comments because I would love to know what you guys want to see next or what you guys don't want to see any more of. Um, last, I think last week or this week, I put on my Instagram that this Sunday I was going to be filming a super fun video and that was supposed to happen. However, I just got news the other day that that specific event was canceled. So I'm not going to be able to film that. I'm really sorry, but I will be able to film that video in January. So that will be coming out a little bit later than I had anticipated. So uh, just know that. And um, yeah, if you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it's the life of a classical musician. And I post there every time I post on YouTube and I also do some extra stuff on there as well. So go check it out and I will see you guys next week. Bye.